Okay, so, uh, Celestial, right, no, this isn't gonna be a fancy video, I don't really care that much. So, what do you look for in Celestial? Okay, so what do you look for? Um, there's three things that's going on right now, and I should have opened this before I started. Uh, so there's three things that are going on in Celestial. One is the lightning strikes, another is the... Pet Stasis, right, so here's the lightning shots, right, these random lightning shots everywhere. Um, so this is your first uh, sort of damage that you can take. The next sort of damage is these pet stasis shots, right? Um, and those come from your portals. And that's, I'm just gonna put it here, that's your second source of uh, damage that you can take. And then your third source of damage is Oryx, right? So like these shots here, like these ones here. Um, and that's your third layer. So in Celestial you have three layers of like damage that you can take right so how do we vi visualize that or actually no let me ask this what's what's the what's the thing that will kill you like uh what's what's gonna kill you and i'm gonna green okay what's gonna kill you this one this one or these ones right and the answer is these ones, these orc shots, those are the ones that are actually going to kill you. Now, if you're up against the wall, um, well, actually, let me forward the video for a second, right? You'll see that there's actually, like, shotguns pointed, pointing towards the walls here. If you're on the wall, the pet stasis portals will actually just kill you. So stay off the walls, firstly. Second, secondly, um, there are often times like this, where right here, and... I don't know where that person just died, but it would have been cool if we saw it there. Um, is like, you know, this big clump of shots. That's what's going to kill you. Like, these individually, like, I got hit by pet stasis. It's like, whatever. Lightning does 200, like, purple damage. And then, like, the stack shots are what's going to kill you. So, in terms of, like, the three things, what should you focus on? It's just orc shots, right? So, as he's sort of moving down here, um, you'll sort of notice that... We'll see when he shoots, right? You'll look at like what Orcs is doing, right? So here's his shots, right? They all orig originate from here, right? And they make like this sort of shape, right? So one point and they move outwards and there's one behind this banner, which I just kind of fucked that. Um, so it's like about here, right? So. The pattern is pretty, like, simple, right? It's like the same as Pop Rocks, but it occasionally just rotates. It's not like a fixed up, down, left, right, and diagonals. It's like it rotates, but it's, it keeps the pattern. Um, so while you're looking at this, extend these lines out further, and what you'll realize is that they make, like, cones. Um, so it's like, okay, so what do I do with the cones? It's like, okay, so when he shoots this shot here, you can expect that this this area, like these blue areas, are like the relatively safe areas for the shots just because of how his cone's working. Now, let's move it over by one more shotgun, right? So let's highlight the same red ones, but like, uh, right here, right? I think, which line is it? It's this one, okay, right? So these are like, sort of like the same cones about, and Oryx will use green for this one. Oryx moves over here, right? And then you can see these sort of condensed shots um, that are roughly about here. Um, I can't, I think this is the one, right? So here's like sort of like the two shotguns that are gonna be doing the most damage to you. Now what, it's like, okay, where's the safe spot there? And it's like, okay, so there's one here and there's like one here. I mean, there's more shots here, but those are going to be way more dispersed because they happen way sooner. So it's like, okay, so keep in mind these two spots, right? So essentially what I'm saying is if you keep standing here, you're going to get like full shotgun. Like, bad zone. Bad zone. Okay. So let's look what happens, right? So I move into the safe spot, this shot gets flooded, and then there's another cone that's passing me here. You see how, uh, Basically what happened was, uh, I'll just freehand it, I'm not gonna use the lines. Like this shot made one cone here, and then this shot over here that I used green earlier made a different cone, and that made a safe spot here. Um, so basically it keeps making these like tr 
triangles, right? And you just have to look for the triangles. Um, and this is, it's so much easier if you like, if you like look back at a recording or look at where you're not having to dodge right in the moment, just so you can see how they're developing. So let's go back to the beginning of the Celestial, right? And you don't need too much speed to do this either. If you're if, like, if you have like, like I think that, like I, I haven't really drank anything on this character. I used like a tincture of fear just for safety. But if you're looking ahead, you can see all of the shots develop, right? So if we look at the start of the Celestial and just sort of watch it, look for the triangles, right? So keep your eye at Oryx and follow the shots downwards, right? Look at Oryx as he swings by right about now and then watch the shots move downwards and then see the cutoff points, right? So again, look at him and then see the cutoff points and then do the same thing for this one where you see the shots coming down and you see the cutoff points, right? And then, you know, you just keep going like that and then he'll keep going like that. Um, so that's how to dodge the shots that will kill you. Now, there are rotations in, like, you'll notice here, like, how I was saying about the, uh, the pet stasis portals, right? So they start shooting, um, right after this carpet, right? So this is the first safe spot, right? And basically, how that safe spot is moving, and it, it's parallel, or not parallel, it's mirrored on every carpet. So, essentially, you start here, you start on the carpet, right? Shots happen after the carpet, and then basically what happens is it moves over here, so then this spot is the safe spot, and then it moves over, and then it keeps moving over until it reaches the next carpet. Um, so if you see people rotating around the room, that's sort of what's happening. It just... It... it what what the pet the portals are doing, it, it gives you like one less layer to focus on. Like you'll have to focus on Orcs' shots, guaranteed, and then you have to focus on the lightning because you know this just random it's everywhere but then the one thing that you can negate or remove is the pet stasis one and that's just by rotating so you see how it's sort of like in the middle of the two carpets now and it's slowly going uh counterclockwise or anti-clockwise to the next carpet so that's just a way to get rid of like clutter um and it's just less to focus on and then it stops right before you get to the carpet and then he goes middle so it's about learning the layers of O3 or like celestial, like what what are the what's actually happening? So like the three layers you talked about, the um, the orc shots, the pet stasis portals, and then the random lightning. So that's the only three, and then the only and then it's like okay, which one do I want to focus on? And the way to get rid of some of those is one is random and it's not going to kill you, which is the lightning. The other one is set, which means that you can do like a routine a routine thing to get it out of your system like you don't have to worry about it and then the third thing is the orcs shots which is like clumped up shots that are that are going to kill you so it's like okay and and then okay so you narrow it down right so you've you've identified the damage sources you identified which ones are important and then it's like okay now that i know which ones are important which is just the orc shots primarily how do i do my best to focus on dodging that and at that point it's we just worked on it right look at the cones and then see the cutoff point and then after that you'll have the six shotguns at that point it's just look ahead at orcs and make sure you don't get lined up all these shots are coming from the middle you don't have to like worry too much about it right so he goes to the middle and then everything's from middle so if you actually die here you're just not looking at orcs you're not identifying what's the, like what's going to kill you and then you're suffering because of it so do keep an eye out for that um and i hope this helps i know there's like there are only four patterns in celestial that you can memorize i would not suggest memorizing them because if you unless you've like done this a bunch but if you look at how it is principally you'll find that learning celestial for like other phases is going to be so much easier like you'll see like people like doing full rotates where they like you know follow orcs around and end up at top and then you'll see some people go left side like what this one is some people will go uh to the like follow him around and go right some people go follow around and they go bottom all of it is based off of the principle of knowing those like little triangles so 
I highly would recommend not memorizing it and just focusing on the principles. Um, look at recordings of yourself because then you don't have to worry about dodging everything. You can just worry about training your <laughs> or when you're watching things, you don't have to worry about dodging things. You can just look at where the shots are coming from. So like if I were to uh, just like look at a recording of this, basically all that's really going on is that I'm sort of looking at Oryx and then watching as the shots develop going downwards. Right, so train your eyes to look in, like, let's say, hold on, let me rewind it for a second. Train your eyes to look in this area, right, the area above you, because that's when, like, the shots f actually are developing, right? So if you look here, right, Orcs is coming over. If you look around this area, maybe a little bit more to the left, right, yeah, this is good. Um, where you see the shots come down, you see those shots develop, you see those cones. Um, and so just look for those cones, essentially, is what you're doing in Celestial. And I, I like a while ago when uh, my friend Kai Guy, or Kai Guy Awesome, but we just called him Kai Guy, was learning go threes, I just said, yeah, just look for the triangles. And he's like, what fucking triangles? And it's like, well, after I explained it to him, you know, he was like, holy shit. Eyes open, yeah. So just look for the triangles, cones, whatever you want to call them. I I like to call them triangles, but more recently I've been calling them cones. Um, just you know, whichever one really works is what you should go for. But yeah, look for those cones. <laughs>